guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Thursday, December 16th, 2021, and I am coming on here with a, I don't know, a regular podcast? What is that? <laughs> so um, for those of you who are new here, my name is Rose. I like to crochet. I like yarn a lot. You'll see some of that soon. Um, I do make uh, stitch markers as well and I have an Etsy shop so please go and check that out if you could do me a favor and hit the heart button there and go in and check out a few items and just hit the favorite button on those. That would be awesome. I will have an update hopefully this weekend with some more stitch markers. I am trying to get some out right now. Um, I do live in the Chicago area. I have one daughter and a bunch of animals, so we call this place the zoo. And um, yeah, so you guys, I had a video out a couple of days ago, and I talked about a um, pattern that I tested for Angie. She is also known as Ruby Baby. Uh, and um, I she gave me one of them to give away so i'm going to announce the winner of that pattern giveaway um in a little bit um, but i also wanted to let you guys know that we have a facebook group for this youtube channel so come and join um, it's linked down below you only have to answer three questions to join i promise they're easy um, you can also go check me out on instagram now, what I tell a lot of people on Instagram, if you have Instagram, is that um, a lot of times you'll see people doing giveaways like yarn companies or whatever, and a lot of times they'll ask you to tag someone. So please feel free to tag me in, Insta in any Instagram giveaway that you have um, because I like to see what the giveaways are too, and a lot of times you guys are following people that I'm not. So <laughs> feel free to do that and also check out my Instagram. Now, the Instagram account is connected to my Facebook business page. So you can go over and like the Facebook business page too, but that's only the things that go on Instagram go on that Facebook Inst Facebook business page. Oh my gosh, I can't keep it straight. Okay, and then there's TikTok. So I finally kind of figured that out. So come follow me on TikTok. And what else? Etsy shop. I don't know. There's so much social media. So I actually did a craft fair last weekend. Um, I've actually done a couple that I haven't been able to talk about, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what I sold at those. And I ordered yarn from Hobby, H-O-B-B-I-I, -I, for Black Friday. Yeah, that was, what, like three weeks ago? <laughs> I've had it, I just haven't had a time, haven't had any time to open up the boxes, so I'm gonna do that today too. Um, no finished objects, I'm actually working on a commission piece right now, which is taking all my time, uh, and one other project, but it's connected to some yarn balls in the other room, so I'll show you that later. <laughs> so, all right, so let's talk about craft fairs. So at the last craft fair that I went to, it was at a local high school, and there were 280 80 vendors so it was super super crowded super busy and um, I kind of did okay and I took like a one minute video clip of what my booth looked like and as the day went on and I saw what people were looking at I changed things around but I'm going to insert the video here of what my booth looked like and maybe you guys can um, give me some of your opinions on it so here you go So most of the craft fairs that I go to, I move around stuff as um, I see people walking by or what, you know, what direction they're coming. Um, you saw I have like a stand with like lubbies on it. So it depends on um, which way that stuff is facing. I, you know, I want it to face the kids so, <laughs> so they can go and drag their parents over there and buy stuff. Um, so I did okay at this last craft fair, so I'm gonna tell you kind of basically what I sold there. So I sold one hat and cowl set. I sold a couple of the Swiffer covers um, that go over your Swiffer duster. I sold six lovies. I did sell one shawl. I sold eight of those little octos. That pattern is from Rel at the Dabbling Hook. Um, I sold a couple of hats, a couple of kitchen scrubbies, some um, hot pads, just like here and there, little things. I sold a Santa hat. 
And if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you'll see that I actually completed one hat while I was there. Um, it was kind of interesting because I held the skein of yarn. I didn't have a bag with me. So I was just crocheting the hat as I was standing there and people were like, oh my God, you're working? And I'm like, well, if I'm gonna be standing here for eight hours, I might as well get something done, right? <laughs> so, so that was last weekend. And then the weekend after Thanksgiving, I also did a craft fair, but it was at a tiny, tiny church and it's not even in a town that's close to me and um, they had Santa there <laughs> so and I was right next to Santa so um, I did okay there as well I sold six loveys one shawl um, 10 octos and I sold one jellyfish and I sold um, some other little things too like a can cozy and a washcloth and stuff like that and then the craft fair before that oh that craft fair that I just told you about there was maybe 40 vendors at the most. It was really, really small. So the craft fair before that, there was like 200 vendors and it was at a high school that was not too far from me. Um, and that one was kind of, I don't know. I don't know if I'll do it again next year. I sold nine loveys, 11 octos, three jellyfish, um, some scrubbies. It wasn't really anything exciting. It, it, you know, I guess I made my booth money back, but that was about it. So um, I don't know. I, I think I need to rethink like what I'm bringing to craft fairs and not only that, but like what I'm highlighting on the table. Um, but we'll figure it out. I mean, this year also was kind of weird because people are just getting back in the groove of things. So maybe next year will be better. So anyway, that's my craft fair uh, information for you. Okay. So I'm going to tell you who the winner was for the Ruby baby, a balaclava. If you didn't watch the last video, I will insert a picture or a couple pictures of what it looks like right here. Okay, so um, uh, Angie from Ruby Baby said that I could give away one of her patterns. So I used a YouTube random comment picker and all you had to do in the last video was have the word Ruby Baby, Ruby Baby in your comment and then um, you could win. So the winner is... So congratulations, Brenda McComas. If you could please send me an email, roselikescrochet at gmail.com and I will get that pattern out to you. So yay, and everyone else, please go and check out Ruby Baby and that pattern, it is actually really, really amazing. So, okay you guys, editing Rose here. Oh my gosh, I went to go and put all that yarn away and I realized I had some cards that I picked up at the post office and I didn't show you. Okay, so I'm so sorry. I don't know what I'm interrupting here, but anyway. <laughs> I got this beautiful postcard. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And this is from Rachel and she is from C is for Crone. She does have a YouTube channel here, so I will link her down below. Thank you so much for the postcard. And then I have another card here and it is from Amy and she is actually not too far from me here in Illinois. And she sent this beautiful card. Oh my gosh, it's a Harry Potter card. Oh my gosh, I love that. So thank you so much, Amy. And she is Amy Long to Crochet. And then I got this, oh, I got this card here and something is coming out of it here. Hold on a second. Okay, so I got this card here and this is from Amanda and she is from Florida. Oh, that's so pretty. And it says, hope you have a wonderful holiday season from my family to yours from Amanda. And she sent me a business card here. Thank you for supporting my small business. She is Obsessive Crochet Lady on Facebook, YouTube, Etsy. And she left me her email and she sent a stitch marker, but it got broken. So I should be able to fix that. She sent me a little snowflake so pretty thank you so much for sending that and then i got one other card and this is from oh wait do you see it <laughs> this is from melissa and she is from florida oh my gosh i love it fa la 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 llama and it just says happy hanukkah and happy new year from melissa thank you so much and then you guys i got a box what? 
I'm not expecting any more packages or anything because all the wings donations is done. But anyway, this comes from Mary and she's from California. And I just cracked it open just to see what was in here. And there's a huge bag. So let me take out the bag and see what's in here. So there's a card and it says to Rose Carrots and the Zoo, a gift just for you from me. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Look at that. You guys don't ever have to send anything that's so sweet. She says, um, here's a box of bears just for you. Etsy shop maybe. My favorite bear is in the purple bag just waiting to become a lovey. Oh, thank you. I'm happy to have sent in things for just two months um, for just two months of items I don't usually make, towel toppers, etc. Thanks for all you do, Mary and Callie. Oh, that is so sweet of you, Mary. I would love to make these into loveys. <gasps> Oh my gosh, they're big though. <laughs> Some of them are pretty big. Oh my gosh, look at how sweet. <gasps> that is, are you serious? You sent all these to me so I can turn them into loveys? Oh my gosh, you guys, they're so precious. Um, here is another one. Oh my gosh, they're so soft. These are big. I don't know, how do you, how do, you do a lovey on this one, you guys? It's huge, it's huge. These are adorable, oh my gosh. Where did you get these from? They're called Wish Pets. Well, some of them are. Here's another one. Oh my gosh, these are so beautiful. Look at that guy. <laughs> this is so amazing. Thank you so much for sending all of these teddy bears. They're called Wish Pets. Can you guys see that? Wish Pets. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. They are so soft. Oh my gosh. Mary, can you let me know if some of these bigger ones, if I can donate them to Wings? Because I don't know that I could turn these into loveys, and I think someone would love to have these, um, the bigger ones for sure. And then let me see what's in this little purple bag here. Oh my gosh. Look at this guy. So pretty. So Mary, thank you so much for sending the happy mail. I do appreciate it. Let me know if I can donate the bigger ones to Wings. I would I would love to do that on your behalf if you wouldn't mind. So thank you so much, Mary. Okay, back to the regular video, guys. Okay, so the last thing for tonight, because I know you guys are busy watching Vlogmas, because I know I'm busy watching Vlogmas if I have the chance, and I don't want to keep you guys too long, is I placed an order from Hobby, H-O-B-B-I-I, -I, on Black Friday, or that weekend, or whatever, and it came pretty quickly, but it's just been sitting here. I also have a Lion Brand order but I ordered Santa sacks, so I'll just wait to open up all that together. And I think I have, I have an ice order that I think I've had for like two months and it's still sitting there. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to open that either. So I'm gonna show you the hobby boxes. Okay, so there's two of them. You guys, I don't even remember what I ordered. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Maybe I will have time to open the ice one too today. But anyway, here are the two hobby boxes and I am going to, show you what is in them. I'm going to open them up for you. Okay, you guys. So um, I got one of the boxes open and um, let's see here. So they have separate invoices in each box. So in this one, and it doesn't tell me how much they were. So I am so sorry, you guys. I don't know what the prices were on these, but you know me. I don't buy anything unless it's on sale and it's a good deal. Okay. So it looks like I got four packs of this Black Friday and it is acrylic XL. So it says, hold on, I need glasses for this, you guys. It says 100% acrylic limited edition, 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 175 meters, 191 yards. It gives a lot number. It is Okotech standard 100. It's a number four. It says to use a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, five to six millimeter knitting needles, made in India. So um, yeah, the, the invoice does not say, it doesn't even say what the color is. It just says that it's five of these. And that's all it says. Okay, so I got obviously white. <laughs> and then I got black. So it's just plain black. And it says color number six. You know what, I wonder if this has a color number. That way if you guys wanna go and look at it on the website, you can at least have a color number. 
Color number one is white. Color number six is black. This purpley color is color number 13. And then I got this blue. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And the color number on this one is number eight. So that's like a royal blue. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And then I got these Malaga color bags. So I'll show you guys this right here, Malaga. And you can see that is the name of it. And let me see what it says here on these labels. It says Malaga color bag number six, 100% premium acrylic. Um, and then this one has like um, a golden orange, a red, a blue, a purple, and like a teal. And each of these has a separate color number. So the teal is color 20. This is color 38. This is color 13, color 28, and color 25. And let me see if I can tell you guys about this. 100% acrylic, 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 165 meters, 180 yards. Recommends five millimeter knitting needles and five to six millimeter crochet hook. It's a number four made in Turkey and it doesn't really say anything else. So I got that pack and then they had, this is so pretty you guys. This is like a, an ombre pack. Oh my gosh, I love that. This is Malaga color bag number three. So if you guys wanna check that out and this is the same stats. Uh, let's see, this is color number two, color number 34. Uh, this one is, I can't see it. <laughs> let's see if I can find the color on this one. This one is color 33. And this one is color 32. And this one is color 31. They are so pretty. I'm thinking a shawl, but that's like a lot of yards, right? 180 yards. So that's, well, that's a thousand yards. That'll make a really nice shawl. So that came in one box. So the five packs of the Black Friday yarn and then these two packs of Malaga. So let me open the other box and see what's in there. Okay, so I opened up the other box and there is an invoice, but there are no prices on it at all. And it looks like uh, I ordered this on November 19th. So it was before Black Friday, but I, it was a Black Friday sale. And um, yeah, so, <laughs> so I don't know what the prices were, you guys. I did get a yarn needle, which is pretty cool because I could use those. All right, so then I'm going to show you guys what I got. And I'll read the specs on one of these. I'm going to try not to blow out the camera, but I got a whole bunch of these. And they must have been a good deal because I got a whole bunch of them. <laughs> this is Hobby Amigo XL. And you know what, I'll let you, I don't know if you even wanna see that. Woo, okay, so this is, <laughs> this is 100% acrylic, 50 grams, 100 meters, 1.75 ounces, 109 yards. It's a number four designed in Denmark, made with love in Turkey. Five to six millimeter crochet hook, five millimeter knitting needles, Okotex standard 100. And I don't know what color it is, except it says it's color 55. Okay, so on all of these, I picked up three of each. Um, and I don't know why I only picked up three, but holy smack rolls, that's bright. <laughs> I love these neon yarns, you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna try and stop blinding you with that and I'll go to the next thing that's blinding. <laughs> this is color 34 and that is like, fluorescent highlighter green for sure. Okay, so I got three of those. And then this is color 33. And that is not as fluorescent, but it's wow za. <laughs> and then I got three of this one, which is color 45. So that is a pretty nice bright neon -y orange color. Okay, now we're a little bit calmer, you guys. I got three of these, uh, this one, which is color 19. 
that's a really pretty blue. And it's not that bad, you guys. I mean, it's definitely softer than Red Heart Super Saver. So, okay, and then we got some browns and probably is gonna make a hat and a cowl with these. This is color number six right there. It's a little bit darker than that. And then this color I thought was really pretty. This is color number 39. So I got three of each of those. And then they had, oh my gosh, you guys, this is so pretty. Okay, this is called Metallico from Hobby. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, stop it, this is just beautiful. Okay, so let me tell you the specs on this. I got quite a few of these. 70% polyamide, 21% acrylic, 9% merino wool. It's also the Okotech standard. Color is number 10, and it is a number four. You see a theme here, right, guys? <laughs> but wait, it'll change. Um, let's see what else it says here. 50 grams, 1.75 ounces, 115 meters, 125 yards, four and a half to five millimeter needle. Uh, I don't think it's giving a crochet hook size. And then let me see if it tells you where it's made. Designed in Denmark, made with love in Turkey. Okay, so this one was color 10. Oh my goodness, they are so pretty. I got four of each of these. Oh my gosh, look at that, you guys. What? Okay, all right. Something is gonna have to stop so I can work on those. <laughs> Okay, and then we have color number 18, and that's like a pinky blushy color, but it looks kind of orangey too. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And then I have color number, let's see if we can find the color number on this one. Okay, this is color number 14. You guys even see that? Yes, I know you see the shine on that. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need recommendations on what to make with this. It's so pretty. <gasps> okay, and then I got one more of that style. And this is color number five. And I know you guys can see how gorgeous that is. Oh my, my, my. That is so pretty. Okay, and then um, I'm a little bit of a cake fanatic. And so I'm gonna show you, I actually got three cakes and one of them came without a label. So that's a little bit disappointing. Um, this one right here came with no label. There is no label in the box that I could find. Um, so let me see if I can figure out from the invoice what that is. I'm probably not, well, let's see. Black, it's a Black Friday cotton cake. Um, okay, so this one is color number 14, and I'll show you the label on this. Black Friday. This is Okotech Standard, 100% cotton, limited edition, color 14. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And then it's a number two, 200 grams, seven ounces, 800 meters, 874 yards. They recommend a three and a half to four millimeter crochet hook made in India. So I got that one. And then this one, which is color number eight. So if this is color number 14 and this is color number eight, then this is color number four. In case you're looking on their website, this one is color number four. So I picked up those three cakes and I'm pretty sure they were a really good deal when I got them because <laughs> otherwise I wouldn't have purchased them. So that was my Hobby Black Friday um, order. I'm really excited about those yarns. I really like those neon -y colors and I can never really find like a whole rainbow of them. So I was pretty excited to find those. So it looks like I might have time to go and get my ice order. So it's just one package and honestly, it's from like two months ago. So I don't remember what it was. So I'm going to go get that and maybe we can open that up now. You guys, I really wish I had a better memory. <laughs> so here is the package. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. 
Uh, let me see. It shipped in September. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so bad. It's been sitting here for like two months, you guys, and I have not been able to open it up. So why don't we just open it up now? I'll show you what's in here. You guys, I just got a little bit of it open. Oh my gosh, this is taking forever. I'll be right back trying to open this more. Okay, you guys, so this isn't so bad. Um, it, it was just like really vacuum sealed in there. So there's this package, this package, <laughs> and this package. So now I need to take them out of these packages. Hang on a second. Okay, you guys, <laughs> this is like an ordeal. Okay, so um, I did get an invoice and they actually have prices on here. Oh my gosh, but it's like tiny, tiny print. Okay, now I'm gonna apologize in advance because there's gonna be, these packages are really crinkly and I know I hate it when I'm listening and I hear the crinkling, but that's okay. So um, I'm gonna see if I can find this stuff on this invoice um sale cake yarn gray shades lilac 100 percent cotton knitting yarn let me see if this is it it looks like it is um okay so here is it says sale cakes yarn gray shades lilac and this was $8.99 for these three. So there, it's like purple and gray. It reminds me of um, the cotton cakes from Hobby Lobby. Um, and I don't remember what they're called, but that's what it reminds me of. And I don't think there's, let's see here. It just says sale cakes yarn, 130 grams, 300 meters, 100% cotton. So there's three of them in there and they were $8.99 for all three. So that's not bad. Okay, so the next one I got is called Puzzle Baby Orange, Pink, White, Green, Camel. 100% <laughs> acrylic and it was $6.99 and that is this one right here. So I'm definitely not opening these up, you guys. I hope you can see them okay. The one definitely looks more neon-y than the other, but I'm pretty sure they're just wound differently. So I got two of those for $6.99 each. So the next ones I got were called Picasso, and I got one that is called Light Blue, Light Pink, Light Lilac, Light Gray. <laughs> I think that's this one right here. So there is a pack of eight for that and it was $6.99 $6 for the pack. So that's not bad. Um, and I don't know how many yards are in each. Let me see. Uh, you guys just are gonna have to go and check out the website. I got another one of the Picasso. It is the same style, different color. This is called Turquoise Lilac Pink and it was also $6.99 for this pack. They're really, really pretty. It kind of has the um, the same sheen as those uh, Metallicos that I got from Hobby. Those are really pretty. Okay, the next one I got is called Saver 100, and I got Light Jungle Green. And this one was $6.99 for a pack of four. Um, it's actually not bad. It's kind of like a muted forest green. Um, and there is the number 71184 if you guys want to look it up. And like I said, this one was also, let's see here, $6.99 for the pack of four. So I only got one of this style. Okay, so the next one I got is called Cakes Chain Green Shades, 90% acrylic, 10% polyamide. And it says it was $7.99 for the two pack. Oh, that is so pretty. I love that. I can't wait to work that up. Okay, the next ones I got were called Saver. And this is 100% Draylon acrylic. This is called Saver Turquoise. And that is the number. And these were $6.99 for a pack of two. And I got this color, which again is turquoise, and I got this color, which is just yellow. So these are the same Saver 100. They look just like um, Big Twist or Red Heart Super Saver. Um, I guess we'll figure out how they feel once I actually work with them. So those are the only ones I got of that style. Okay, then I got this one called Baby Lollipop. 
And there is the number on this one. Oh, I thought that was really pretty, you guys. So let me see if I can tell you. This is called Beige Turquoise Blue, and it is 100% acrylic, and it was $5.99 for these four right here. And then I got it in another color, which is, um, it says red, blue, something, and there is the number 70660, and it says lilac, blue, red on the invoice. And it was also $5.99 for the four of these. It's got those pretty specks in them. Oh my goodness, they're so pretty. And then I got this pack and it says sale self striping. And you guys, it popped open, but this is what it looks like. It looks like um, a lighter version of Red Heart Unforgettable or Lion Brand Landscapes. And this one was, it's called Fuchsia Burgundy Dark Green Copper Turquoise. <laughs> and it was $8.99 for the four. So this one I can actually show you guys because it came undone. And that's, it looks, it's definitely like a three or maybe even a heavy two. No, it's a three. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. There you go. So I got one pack of four of those. And then I got this Happy Baby, which is right here. And this is called Orange Shades Yellow Shades. It is 100% premium acrylic, $7.99. And there is the color. And for the baby yarns, I'm thinking of doing baby blankets with them. So, um, but I've already done like, um, what is it called, the midwife? So I'm thinking of do, trying to find another baby blanket pattern. So if you guys have any suggestions for baby blanket patterns. And you know what? I just saw that I have this here. What is this? <laughs> this is Cake's Chain and the color is copper. So there's that one. Let me see if I can find it on here. Yes, this was $7.99 for the two of them. So I got this one and then that greenish color. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. So I guess we did get through the ice yarn haul <laughs> and the hobby haul. And for the winner of the Ruby Baby pattern, please make sure that you send me an email, roselikescrochet at gmail.com. And I hope you guys are enjoying all the Vlogmas videos and getting ready for the holidays. And I'm sure I will be on um, in another couple days. I have some finished blankets finally. Woohoo! <laughs> um, but I have been working on a commission piece, so that's kind of been taking up all my time. I'll show you guys that later. Anyway, that's all I have for you tonight, guys. I hope you have a great night, and we'll talk to you later. Bye!